Welcome to this video on 5th generation of computers. This learning video will enable you to identify the 5th generation of computers, examine the technology used in this generation and explain the developments in this generation. 5th generation computing devices based on artificial intelligence are still under development but there are some applications such as voice recognition that are in use today. Artificial intelligence is the branch of computer science that aims to make the computers behave like humans. The term was coined in 1956 by John McCarthy at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Let us look at some of the applications of artificial intelligence. Programming computers to play games such as chess and checkers is an excellent example of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is used to program computers to make decisions in real life. For example, some expert systems help doctors diagnose diseases based on symptoms. Neural networks are systems that simulate intelligence by attempting to reproduce the types of physical connections that occur in animal brains. Robotics is programming computers to see, hear and react to other sensory stimuli. Currently, computers do not exhibit full artificial intelligence. In the area of robotics, computers are now widely used in assembly plants but they are capable only of very limited tasks. Robots have great difficulty identifying objects based on appearance or feel and they still move and handle objects clumsily. Natural language processing would allow people to interact with computers without needing any specialized knowledge. You could simply walk up to a computer and talk to it. Unfortunately, Computers find it difficult to understand natural languages. Some computerized translation systems translate one human language to another but they are not as good as human translators. There are also voice recognition systems that can convert spoken sounds into written words but they do not understand what they are writing. They simply take dictation. The major disadvantage with this system is one must speak slowly and distinctively. Speech recognition is an advanced technology that deals with designing computer systems that can recognize spoken words. However, it cannot understand what is being said. Comprehending human languages falls under a field of computer science called natural language processing. Speech recognition systems are used as an alternative to keyboards. A number of voice recognition systems are available on the market. The most powerful ones can recognize thousands of words. Speaker Dependent System They generally require an extended training session during which the computer system becomes tuned to a particular voice and accent. Discrete Speech System They require the speaker to speak distinctly slowly and separate each word with a short pause. Recent developments have given us more reliable voice recognition systems that allow us to speak naturally. Voice recognition systems are useful in instances when the user is unable to use a keyboard to enter data because his or her hands are occupied or disabled. Instead of typing commands, the user can simply speak into a headset. Parallel processing and superconductors are helping to make artificial intelligence a reality. Parallel processing is the process of using more than one CPU simultaneous to execute a program. It makes a program run faster because there are more engines. In practice, it is often difficult to divide a program without interfering with each other. Quantum computing was first proposed in the 1970s. It relies on quantum physics by taking advantage of certain quantum physics properties of atoms or nuclei that allow them to work together as quantum bits or qubits to be the computer's processor and memory. 
qubits can perform certain calculations exponentially faster than conventional computers. Qubits do not rely on the traditional binary nature of computing. Quantum computing is not well suited for tasks such as word processing and email but it is ideal for tasks such as cryptography, modeling and indexing very large databases. Nanotechnology is the field of science that helps to create the computer chips and other devices that are thousands of times smaller than current technologies by controlling individual atoms and molecules. The term nanotechnology was coined by K. Eric Drexler in 1986 in the book Engines of Creation. Current manufacturing processors use lithography to imprint circuits on semiconductor materials. Lithography has improved dramatically over the last two decades to the point where some manufacturing plants can produce circuits smaller than 1 micron. However, lithography is fast approaching its physical limits. Hence, to continue reducing the size of semiconductors, new technologies that juggle individual atoms is necessary. This is the realm of nanotechnology at a molecular level which includes submicron processes. The goal of fifth generation computing is to develop devices that respond to natural language input and are capable of learning and self-organization. Here, natural language means a human language such as English, French and Chinese and not computer languages such as Fortran, C or Java. Probably the single most challenging problem in computer science is to develop computers that can understand natural languages. So far, the complete solution to this problem has proved elusive, although great deal of progress has been made. Fourth generation languages are the programming languages closest to natural languages. Key points discussed in this video. Artificial intelligence is the branch of computer science that makes computers behave like humans. Nanotechnology is the field of science that helps to create computer chips and other devices that are thousands of times smaller than current technologies by controlling individual atoms and molecules. Quantum computing relies on quantum physics by taking advantage of certain quantum physics properties of atoms or nuclei that allow them to work together as quantum bits or qubits to be the computer's processor and memory.